Hello, I'm Rashid Stevens, and you're watching The Crystal Beauty Show, live here in Hollywood. Awesome show, awesome host, awesome everybody, even awesome me. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Crystal Beauty Show. Today with me I have the one, the only, the best dressed Cameroonian ever, Alene Menget. How are you doing today? I'm grateful and I'm happy. I'm talking on the Crystal Beauty Show. <laughs> this is a reality. I'm not just watching you online today. I can touch your app. Wow. How are you doing, girl? Good, mm. good. It's Nice to see you in the U.S. How was your trip? I wish you said not see me in Hollywood. It is Hollywood, yeah. yes. I want you not just say U.S. <laughs> I want you to say across U.S. to Hollywood near the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Have you visited? Yeah, I'm from there. I touched a bit of the waters. Just look like us down the Atlantic up in the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> so how was your trip? Oh, but it was good. First class in the plane by government. Mm hmm and landing here, the first thing I see, fine women like you that I've been admiring, not just the beauty of your body. I've been admiring, my, admiring the ingenuity of a young woman who decides to take upon herself in the diaspora to follow our culture right over here. So it's been an extremely fascinating trip. I don't want to think about a trip. I want <laughs> to think about the people I've met and the things I've done already. Nice. Yeah. Before we get into all of that, mm. for those viewers who do not know who you are, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where do I start? I'm everything when it gets to show business. The man in front and the man back the camera. But, well, I'm an investigative journalist and I'm the owner of Atheist Productions, the one that does all the sweet investigations of freaking documentaries on www.a2strong.com. Okay. Yeah, so I'm a journalist. Uh, I'm a multi-instrumentalist. I could sing good songs for you. Then I'm a film actor. Then I'm a producer, too. And Impressive. Uh, if you see the way I talk, I could be a better comedian, too. So I, <laughs> I'm a master of all. Don't tell me I'm not. I, I know all. Don't tell me I'm not a master of all. Mm. So where are all these multiple skills coming from? Ask him, Ja, Alman. When the bad woman feel like I'm talking a great man, talk in a bad Ja. Ja, the arm you want to create me. It's from God. <laughs> So, you have currently been doing a lot of documentaries. Mm -hmm. What inspired that? I did documentaries. I, I rushed into documentaries because that was the fastest means of distinguish my, distinguishing myself from the rest of the other people who were doing production. Okay. Now, uh, working with people was very difficult. Getting people on set to do a movie, about 100 of them, paying them all, all the, the, the turbulences and disturbances. I had to narrow to something. I'm, I, I'm first of all, an investigative journalist. So now reducing a crew with small money could do me more productions. And getting more productions with documentaries, I don't need to sell to society. I sell to radio and TV stations. Selling to radio and TV stations means I may have just five customers and I'm working. But if I have to do movies to pay 100 people and get all that headache, I just narrow it down to three people, the cameraman, my voice man, we're down the field and I'm asking the questions. So, and we still get back to sell. So it's because it's for the time. I need to live the life I'm supposed to live. I don't want to be the artist that suffers. I don't want to be the artist that has only the fancy on the face, oh, he does a good movie, no. I also want to be the celebrated artist that could keep up his life. So uh, I went to documentaries because that is what I can sell for now in my country. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And among all the documentaries you've done so far, which one is closest to your heart and why? Oh, the one at the cemetery. Hmm. It's called the cemetery, where I had to spend two weeks in the cemetery to find out how people come to share booty when they're from robbing. Or oh, the myth of a human being going to buy another person's bone to do traditional medicine. 
So that is the documentary. I love it. I've done a lot of other investigations. Uh, I have a set of 52 documentaries to be launched. I'm going to launch part of it in the United States here. Yeah? Uh, we have Tegumo, which is uh, a traditional belief down in the Mugamos in the Northwest where somebody dies, they go and the person come talks with his voice what killed him. I have um, Bamdom, something, uh, you know, exotic meals. Uh, my, my, my dear friend, your producer here, they keep cats and dogs as pets. I've gone to Africa to find out people who eat cats and dogs. They keep them as pets and finally they eat them. So uh, it's, uh, I've done the Ghana court. Oh, yes, the Ghana court. The man who goes up the hill to oh, oh, live with the cows for many years before he's been given his own uh, flock to follow and take care of. And uh, uh, there are lots of other new documentaries that are coming up on HD. Uh, the announcement is that we now have HD. Most of our old documentaries, we used to hire, borrow camera from there. Now, but now we have on equipment then. We getting flow. That's really impressive. Yes, ma'am. I heard some rumors that you sing as well. So I was wondering yeah. if you could sing something for us. What do you want me to sing about? What's the date of today? Today is the 14th. Of? September. And what is it? Sunday? Yes. There was one four thing when I was in the studio. And she told me to sing a song. And I asked that day. And she told me it was the 14th. And I said one month. And she said it was September, and I said, yeah, yeah. Then I started creating a song the moment I said, telling you that I could sing a brand new song. Every day that I wish, <laughs> I'll create one new song. So what you want to hear, that's a song. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Uh, that's you. very creative. Thank you. With that, we're going to take a break, and we'll come back with more. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Zilmatic Pictures. Oh, Come on in. Come on in. This was found out four years ago, based in the DMV area. At Zilmatic Pictures, we take pride in producing great films. And not just great films, guys. Great quality films, from the picture quality to the audio quality. And I'm not just talking movies. I'm talking music videos. I'm talking documentary. If you want your film edited, Zilmatic Pictures is the place for you. What we do in Zilmatic Pictures is give you what you deserve. Perfection, exactly what it is. This is a home of Captain. Short film series, which is currently airing. Just check it out. Follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, ZilmaticPictures.com. Go to the website, www.ZilmaticPictures. And every so often, snow by the YouTube page to see what we got for you. It was nice having you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. Get up, I get. Get up, I get. Get up, I get. Get up, I get. Welcome back, guys. We still have the one and only Alene Menget. You're looking sharp, by the way. Did I mention? Well, you're mentioning on TV. I mentioned it, that you're looking sharp before we started. You're looking pretty, baby. Not as good as you are. I don't think so. Are we really going to do this right I now? I think we should. <laughs> I think we should. So, tell us, what, how would you assess the Cameroon film industry? The you know, Cameroon film industry, assess it. The industry. Yes. Uh, we are the primary creeping stage, but if some few things happen in a moment, we will be very blossom. But if some few things don't happen, we may still creep for a long while. We may creep for a long while because some of the people who have been at it have been doing the face of those things and not doing it well. But, you know, it has nothing to do. Uh, if we reduce politics from movies and shoot the roles, it will be good. If we stop doing CFI politics or Cameroon movie politics and get to shoot movies, that will be good. I'm from Cameroon, and I'm not sure we shot up to 10 movies this year, but we brought up more than 1,000 news stories on scandals. People talk about each other and fight things that they're not supposed to do. So once we drop our guns and get back to school and do more production, that's when we move. But once we start feeling that we've already succeeded when we've not started, we've gone nowhere. What I feel about the Cameroonian film industry will be divided into we and what we have. What we have is an avenue where you can do the best movies in the world, a free country where you can run around and do the get shots, and some people who are extremely talented to stay before and after the camera and some beautiful people in front of the camera who will make the movies. But the problem I have with us is us. We're not working. 
it's not just the Cameroonian film industry. The Cameroonian as a whole doesn't do a lot of work. Yeah, so by the time we decide to do the things we ought to do, you wouldn't ask that question anymore. You will ask me, how do we stop this running train? I can't wait for that day. <laughs> me too. So tell us about Alene Too Strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alene Too Strong. Uh, it's, it's, it all started with uh, when we were in school, young people, and we came from moderate homes, and we had uh, friends who came from the bourgeois homes, and they packed them, they, they brought them to school in big, huge cars, and we had to move some kilometers to get to school. And uh, they, we had some complexes, and I said, I'm too strong. I will have no complex, and I will do things I ought to do. So I put my name, Alina, too strong. It has something to do with the reflections of the things I did today. Those days we watched TV on MTV. We used to buy the audio huge H VHS tapes and go and put on the deck to watch what was recorded in the United States. And I had a dream that one day I'll be strong and I'll do the things I ought to do, the things I'm doing right now. So that's how it came out. Oh, nice. Then it, it stayed. Then uh, I, I had very tender age at class four. I'd already done a company in my head which was ATS. I learned it too strong. Wow, class yeah, four. Today, yes, class four. We yeah, have in the secondary school. But today, ATS is a registered company in Cameroon. And if ATS is registered in Cameroon, I regret I don't want to tell people the meaning of ATS because it <laughs> looks like class four. <laughs> but it's a name, and that's how I started. Okay, wow. You, you're currently working on a project, GTV. Can mm -hmm. you tell us more about that? GTV, uh, I would like to reserve my comments on here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, for personal reasons and some other things, I wouldn't want to put on media now. Surprise is coming up soon. Okay. We'll take another quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk about personal stuff. We've been talking a lot about your career, and you know, mm -hmm. so we're going to come back and talk about you as a person. No problem. All right. We'll be right back. I'm waiting. Welcome to Phase Two Lounge and Restaurants, an upscale lounge for all your events. We're open every day from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. We also deliver. Call us today at 832-807-1450 or 832-889-1090. Wow, that looks so good. I should have ordered that. Mmm! This is the best pepper soup I've ever had. Are you serious? You want to taste it? Sure! Mm. Come try some of our mouth-watering dishes. We're located at 7403 South Kirkwood Road. Houston, Texas, 77072. Best lounge in Houston. Come check it out. Welcome back, guys. So tell us, do you have any special lady in your life right now? Special lady? Yes, I do. Spill the juice. <laughs> Spill the juice? Yes. Tell One little it. thing I know about uh, my business is I don't mix up what I do with a lady with what I do on camera. Okay. Never will I do that. Yeah, and uh, I'm happy my ladies, if I have one or two, or if I have special <laughs> ladies, including my mother, they know that this thing, you don't put people in front, because if you put people in front, they will act as breastwork. Many people will be shooting at them instead of shooting at me. I like my bullets on my face. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you were actually at the NAFCA last mm -hmm. night. Yeah. What did you think about it? Well, I am leaving NAFCA with the greatest happiness, the highest amount of confidence, because I now know that Cameroon is a big place to be. We were not just having confidence. What NAFCA did yesterday, come home and see what we do. We are organized people. Yeah, and I now also understand that in Hollywood there are errors. So I'll go back home and say, those people are not perfect. And I also know that we need to build things. So NAFCA has given me a lot of confidence. I'm going back home to say we are the best. I'm going back home to meet people to tell them that, oh, that do you know that when nominees are called sometimes in Hollywood, images don't come to? Are you getting it? Yeah. So I want just to use this opportunity to say that we've done a lot of things in my country that are, uh, we've been suffering from inferiority complex that we need to get out from. 
Nobody is perfect. We are extremely talented people. I saw people out there that they're just working and making up because of the fact that they live in a chosen land, not because they do what we do. Yes, we got a lot of talent. But they have an initiative that we will always want. I mean, if they could get people around the world to come around there, that's a wonderful initiative. And they have a strategy to bring people together. That's what we don't have. But when it comes to what we talk about, talent, I think I'm going back home with plenty of joy that I would tell a lot of people we worth it. You can go to NAFCA tomorrow, you can get to Hollywood tomorrow and be a big star because I met those people and you are doing better than some. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Do you have any advice for our Cameroonians out there? I tell Cameroonians out there is that you can make it. You can make it because if you go to your inner self and see the things that you're made out of and you pick up some confidence and decide that you will make it, then you will make it. But be aware, be sure you can make it because if you don't make it, don't be the outcast. But you can make it if you work hard. The storyline and its end is working very, very hard for the things you want to do in show business. And don't you forget to pray after working hard because that's the only way you can blend the two to be me. I call that success. Nice. Well, thank you so much. It was an honor having you here. Mine too, honey. <laughs> and I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, leave your comments. Follow us on Twitter, like our Facebook page. And until next time, this is Crystal saying bye-bye.